Okay, somebody. Somebody. Praise God, everybody. We're starting. Just if I forget, just give me a signal. You forget. Oh, okay. Because you know okay. I'm <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. You know I'm off. God bless everybody. We're going to start adjusting these cameras. service. Welcome those that are watching on Facebook. And I have this new uh, YouTube thing going on. So if you're watching on YouTube later, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to our Sunday service. Welcome to the River of Light, Lane Pentecostal Church of God. We're glad you're here. Amen. God is good. God is on the move. And God is ready to do something today. Amen. If you just receive, praise God, and turn on your spiritual antennas, God, God will move. Amen. He is here in this place. So let's come and worship him. And prepare our hearts and our minds to worship the King. I mean, He is yes. the King. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And sometimes we forget that because we go about our daily, you know, we go about our day and we just forget that. Sometimes, maybe I'm just talking for myself, but we forget He is the King. Amen. In the book of Revelation, it says, gives me crowns on His head. Mm. Amen. He is the God of all gods. Amen. He is the King. So when we come before the King, Amen. He has a kingdom. He has a throne, amen. Because he some some volume. I'll, I'll go. There's a switch. Just switch. I'll go. Okay. Praise God. But God is the King of King, amen. Sometimes when we come before His presence, we need to acknowledge that we're standing before a King. He sits on the throne. Jesus sits on the right hand of the Father. The Book of Revelation said He sits in the midst and opens a scroll. But God is our king, yes. amen. and we are part of a kingdom. We are royalty. We are uh, kings and priests, amen, for God. So let's continue to acknowledge him as the king. He is everything. He is Lord. He is Savior. He is Christ. He is God. He has so many titles and names and attributes. But let's not forget that he is a king, amen. Let us worship the king. Bow down before the king. King, listen to the King, amen. amen. Praise God, He is a King, a <laughs> heavenly King. So praise God, praise Him today. That I just, I don't know why I'm just getting this. That come we on. need to come before God and acknowledge <laughs> Him as Majesty, Ooh, as yes. King, yes. as Lord. You guys all seen the movies and you watch all these different types of movies that have kings in them. Well, imagine God in that perspective, but His glory. His kingship is like no other, amen. So yes. you come before him, come before him with reverence, come before him with fear, amen, because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, but not fear that God's going to spank me my behind. No, a fear, a reverence, a respect for God. So when we come into his house, let us reverence and respect him, amen. I'm glad you guys are here today. You guys look great in your Sunday's best. But let's not get distracted. We're not here for that. We're here to look at the king, amen, and let him do what he has to do in our lives. Praise God. God is good. And we love the king today, amen. He is a king. I cannot stress that enough that we thank him for his beauty and his majesty. God is so good. I'm just getting revelation and visions right now as I speak that because God is worthy, amen. So we're going to go ahead and take our uh, prayer request, Um I know there's prayer requests. I just want to say real quick now that uh, 
Uh, looking at you guys out there, Sister Barbara, welcome back again. We're glad you're here. Praise God. Glad you're here. Amen. Welcome back. Good to see you again. And it's been a while, amen, but God is good. And uh, Brother uh, Tom, welcome. God bless you. Good to have you. Amen. Amen. Welcome there. Amen. Talk of praise. And we're going to go ahead and uh, take our prayer request. Good to see Sister Marissa here again. I know she just got off work. She's a little tired. I just pray that the Holy Spirit jolts you with the energy. Shabbly mercies on the way back home. She drives all the way from Kalinga. Amen. Just to come see little old Layton Church. Praise God. But there's something happening in this place. And God's about to explode in this house. Amen. Yes. And so um, with, all, with all that being said, if we have any prayer requests, write them down real quick. And then we'll come into an agreement and ask God to move. David, you okay? And and no, he needs prayer too. He's, He's got a headache again? No, I'm oh. not the headache at all. Though. Okay. Sister Lacey, she's they're not feeling well today probably, so we'll just put them on the prayer list. They stayed out for a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and um, pray for them. Can we pray for my grandson Greg? Yeah. He's in the hospital and I see you and uh, they said he had bleeding in the brain. Um, I don't know what all. Uh, it's God's grace that he's still alive. He had, uh, had a wreck. This man ran out in front of him, and, and he was on his motorcycle. His motorcycle was completely in little pieces everywhere, and his body is. He's he has come to enough to say a few things, I think, um, but. My son came from LA to see him, and he sent me pictures, and it's not not good. So, but you know, God can take care of that. They also need uh, salvation. Tony and Greg both do. Who is Greg? I'll get to you, sister. Greg is my grandson. grandson Tony okay. is my son and his father. You have such a big family, you're blessed. I lose track of who's who. So <laughs> praise God. We gotta make it specific and say God in the name of Jesus, the grandson, Lord. Amen. Anybody else? Bo and Bailey. Bo and Bailey? Yes. Salvation? Yes. All right. Amen. call it cancer, we call it Jesus. Jesus is above that name, so that name has to not bow down. Yeah. We'll force it to bow down somehow. Uh, prayer for um, a friend of mine, her daughter had cancer in the bed, and she's like pretty bad already. Her name is Cynthia. Okay. going on a little trip. Yeah, traveling mercies. Yes. Yes. Okay. Amen. Anybody else? Going once, going twice. Sold by the blood of Jesus who bought us. Amen. Just come in agreement. Amen. It's the body of Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, there are yes. many, many needs in the church, God, and many needs in the body, and many needs in those that are connected to the body. Father, we come in agreement in Jesus' name, God. Lord, in Jesus' name, Father, God, I, I just, speaking out of my spirit, God, and speaking out of the heart of God, Lord, I just want to be honest right now, God, and, and only you know these things, that you're in control, God, what I'm tired of hearing about these things, so much cancer going around, death, God, so many things that, Lord, that 
And that is not from you, God. That is pretty much the enemy is on assignment, God. But never that passes by your hand, God. But these things are not impossible for you, God, to... Father God, set free, heal, deliver, God, Lord, to make a difference, God, Lord, in Jesus' name, God, Lord, your hand, God, to be upon them, Father God, Lord, in Jesus' name, God, we want to hear about what you're doing, we want to hear about the goodness, God, to taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man that trusts in him, God, because the report of the Lord shall be good, Father God, because the centurion servant said, just speak the word, and my servant will be healed. You just sent the word, and he was healed, God, because you sent your word to heal them and deliver them out of destructions, God. Your word heals. Jesus, you are the word, God incarnate, Lord, and we Pray right now in the name of Jesus. Those that are praying right now, uniting in like faith, uniting God. Father, in Jesus' name, that we care about these situations, God. We ask you, Father, God, that only you can make a difference in what is happening, God. That you would touch bodies, God, that need to be healed, God. In Jesus' name, God, a supernatural healing, God, a biblical miracle. God, we believe you are the God of miracles. You are the God of the breakthrough, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Lord, that you gave up your back for these people. You gave up your back for these healings, God. And they ripped it to shreds and your bones were showing. You didn't do it for no reason, God. You do it because by your stripes they are healed, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we accept that right now, Lord, that the blood of Jesus is a remedy for every sickness, mm. disease, God sin everything, Father God, for Brother Leroy right now, God, I speak to his back to be in divine alignment, corroded this, slit this, neck pain, and back problems be realigned and put back into place now in the name of Jesus, align with heaven now. We command that back, Lord, right now in Jesus' name to be in alignment, Father God, for David and Lacey, God, help them, give them strength, God, Lord, in Jesus' name. I know that they're going through a lot with health and different things going on, Father, but Lord, there is nothing impossible with you. God, I pray you speak to their hearts and their minds. I pray you strengthen their inner man by your spirit, God. Father, in Jesus' name, for a grave, God. Father, in Jesus' name, for salvation, God, for the grandson, Lord, of, of Dorothy and Sam, God, right now yes. in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, we pray right now, God, Lord, for supernatural healing, God, that you put your hand upon him, God, but most of all, that he would receive you, God. You would talk to him in a dream, in a vision. Send a pastor, a chaplain, somebody, an angel, God, to tell him about the goodness of you, God, to receive you, Father. Only you know, God, but that's the greatest gift we can receive. And salvation is the greatest miracle, God. And you die for him, God. And you care for him, God. And you're going to give him another chance, we believe, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, Lord, we pray right now that you stop the bleeding in Jesus' name, God. That there's going to be a turnaround, God. That you're going to reverse what's happening. We speak and declare this according to your word, Father, right now in Jesus' name, God. For Mary G, for Leanne, God, we pray for their salvation. We pray for their souls. We pray, God, you continue to bless them and you lead them and you guide them. Holy Spirit, Father, right now in Jesus' name, Lord. For the knower of God, Father of God, I know, God, that, that we don't claim cancer, God. We claim the blood, God. Lord, such great faith in Brother Sam, God. I unite my faith with his, God, right now. And I rebuke and I bind that cancer, Father God. It will leave her body now in the name of Jesus, God. You will send the Spirit of God into her body. You will send your fire to burn out, Father God. Burn out every tumor, God. Burn out every cancer, bone cancer, Father God. Lord, in Jesus' name, God, we come against it, God. That we prophesy to the bones, God, that they will live again. They will put on strength and sinew and, 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 and nerves and muscle, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against every spirit of infirmity, God. We cast it out now in Jesus' name and send it back to the dry place right now, God. These things are possible through you, God, if we would only believe that we come against cancer in the name of Jesus, that it has no place it has no right in her yes. body, God. We decree 
healing now in Jesus name begin the healing process right now as we speak as we agree father in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we thank you father God right now Lord, we pray for sister Betty Price only you know God she might be on her last breath but only you know God you give her that breath God if you decide to take it away it's your will God we come against cancer God because Lord she also has cancer father in the name of Jesus God Lord we rebuke it now in Jesus name command it to come out of her body God according to your will father God let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven father in the name of jesus god when you decide to heal her you would make her whole and healthy for the rest of her life that she has to live god lord in jesus name we pray god if it's not her time to go because she's not going to go god in the name of jesus father god we pray this in jesus name just because she's on her bed god doesn't mean it's her final hour god lord in the name of jesus if you decide to take her out Heal her, fill her back with the Spirit again. She is so much full of the Spirit, God. I just thank you for that lady, God. A pillar in this church, God. Lord, in Jesus' name, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We for for uh uh, bow and Bailey, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, Lord, that you would touch them, you would reach them, you would save them, you would minister to them, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for my wife, Father God, and my son, Lord, in Jesus' name, as they come back, yes. trying to mercy of the blood of Jesus over them, Father God, a wall of fire, your ministry to angels, God, for Dean and Kathy, Father God, as they get ready to go, Father God, and enjoy their life, Father God, in Jesus' name, God, I pray, hedge of protection over them, God, in Jesus' name, God, and bring them back soon and safe, Father God. Father, in Jesus' name, is there anybody that I missed? God, only you know, God, you know the needs. God, and Lord, I know you will answer by fire, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, be in this place. Holy Spirit, take over the service, God, and move with the outstretched yeah. hand of fire, God. We love you and we thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 Praise God. And go ahead and uh, get a worship on him, man. Good morning. 
that.
shout. Come on. You're feeling friendly. <laughs> Step out and shake one another's hands and greet each other in the house of the Lord. good it's the time to sow our seed amen it's time to give to the lord so just trust him in all things amen just trust god like use myself again as an example god taught me how to give i didn't always give i didn't want to give i didn't understand it i didn't have the faith that I, I you know i didn't put money in the basket i did i didn't understand it right i was i was learning amen i was like god but as God taught me, and, and, and I started to use my faith more and more and more, He started showing me, you, you're able to do this, like it actually works. So I was like, wow. And I did it, and it started working. Come on, I was like, come on. wow, God, I, you, I decided to trust you, and, and it works. Like, we were like, yeah. you know, it's like when we, we asked for prayer, and God answered, we're like, oh, I can't believe you did that. What do you mean you can't believe you did that? You just believed He was going to do it, but come He shocks on. you. He opens your eyes, like, whoa, what? Wow, it really works. That's crazy, right? It's like, yes, it really works. And I still have to check myself. It works, Raymond. Right? Come down. You guys just pray here. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's right. I forgot, Lord. Help me, God. But no, it works. Amen. So, if you decide to trust God, I, I, I guarantee you, He will come through for you. You don't have to work 10 jobs, two jobs, five jobs. I was doing that. I burned myself out for what? Because I thought I could handle it. I wanted to have all the money to pay the bills and to burn myself out not have time for God? No, it works. We use wisdom. Amen. So let's go ahead and, and give, uh, uh, give to the Lord today. He says, if you test him in this, he will open the windows of heaven for you. Praise God. God is faithful. God is true to his word. We just don't understand. Sometimes we don't get it because we're still thinking like in, in, in a humanly wisdom. We're still thinking. We're not thinking according to the spirit. We're not thinking according to the mind of Christ. Amen. There's a spiritual realm. There's an atmosphere. There's a 
frequency that you can tap into, that when you trust God, you will see Come the on. blessings fall. Yes. Amen. So we need to make up our mind and actually ask God to help us make up our mind so I can learn how to trust you and quit worrying about everything. I can't save the day, but you can, Lord. Yes. So let's continue to, to praise God and, and get into prayer and, and, and pray for the offering. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get a blessing from our, our brother Larry. Bless us, amen. Oh, that's that's I gotta turn that one up. Get one to work. Yeah. <laughs> come on, brother. Heavenly Father, we're thankful today yes, Lord for God. This, this service and we can all come together to worship. Yes. yes. We're thankful for your salvation, Father. Yes. And, yes. An opportunity that we have yes. to serve you each day, Lord. And yes. Just for being with us, Lord, each day, and we ask that you'll bless this offering, <laughs> that our needs will be met today, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 tradition of things, you know, mm. where the spirit can move and Praise Jesus God. can touch you. Come on. You know, that's the kind of music I grew up with. And that's the kind of music I still like today. And I'll tell you what, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing like the old time music, the hymnals, the messages so strong, you know, in there. 
Amen. and stuff. And, and uh, I just thank God for my daughter, Karen. I mean, I love all my children, but she's with us. She's helping us out. She's working with us, you know, and, and God is moving, and that's that's what it's about. Amen. Um, you got a request from our ex-pastor over there. He's wanting to hear Heavenly Dove again. <laughs> we, get, we get a lot of requests for that. Song. Oh, Lord. It's in D. What? D. Spirit of man knows the spirit of man. 
Amen. 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 For no eye has seen and no ear has heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men. Those things God has prepared for those that love him. Now, I know we all know that verse, but it also goes on to say that he has revealed them to us by his spirit. Yes. Amen. Everybody stops at that verse. No eye is here, no eye is seen, no ear is heard. But it goes on to say, but he has revealed those things to us by his spirit. So we have revelation knowledge by the spirit. Amen. Maybe in the Old Testament, no eye is seen, no ear is heard. But Paul continues to emphasize on that through the revelation of the spirit. He adds to it, not to add to the word, but God told him to write that. That we know now by the spirit. Amen. Because we know God now. We know we, we have a new birth. That is in that that. That is born of spirit is spirit. Amen. So we're born of the spirit. So we're partakers of God's spirit. Now we're born into a new nature. Like I said, get into the heavenly realm. Get into the heavenly atmosphere. Amen. You will find God. And so just, um, I don't know how many steps I got. I probably walked a mile already. Amen. Going back and forth. Like, what is that guy doing? I got crazy or what? I was going back and forth putting the sound on. Amen. That's why if you guys, if God puts it in your heart to help out in ministry, you can sign up, amen, and God doesn't, uh, how does it go? You don't have to be qualified, but God qualifies the call, amen. So if there's anybody out there that wants to uh, participate and help out a little bit more, be more than welcome to, to say, come on in and, and have an extra helping hands, amen. That way the pastor will run around looking all crazy with his head cut off, amen. amen. So praise God, God is good. But yes. I must have walked a mile. Hopefully by the time I get out this door, I'll be skin and bones, amen. So praise God, we'll see. I can pray, can't pray the pounds off. Just got to continue to, to be, use wisdom. Yes. Just wanted to say real quick, thank you guys. It's Pastor Appreciation Month. I want to thank everybody that appreciates me. It really helps me. It encourages me. It lifts my spirits up. Amen. And so even those that don't appreciate me, God bless you. I love you anyway. Amen. Because <laughs> God told me a long time ago, when you answer the call, not everybody's going to be on the same page. Amen. But it's yes. okay. Because God is good. Love you anyway. Um, I don't know. I went, there's like a little clipboard they made. I'm like, oh, wow. That's pretty cool. And it, I was surprised by it. I didn't know. I was like, I walked in like, oh, wow. I felt... I felt appreciated, you know, it feels good to be appreciated, amen. I mean, it's a lonely road sometimes when you're a pastor, amen, but amen. I, the only pat on the back I need is from God, but it helps to, to when brothers and sisters show their appreciation for one another, amen. So, Brother Marshall, make sure you guard those things with your life. I don't know what those are, but there's someone pinned a little, some little envelope, so make sure no one takes them or... I might have to uh, um, get in the flesh. No, I'm just kidding. If you guys might need it more than me, you want to take it, God bless you. But there's some little things pinned in the back. I'm like, oh, cool. So I'm like, okay, everybody, don't be on a hurry to give me all gifts at once now. Praise God. But if you want, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So praise God. Um, they have like a little thing back there they made. So if you want to participate in it, it's right there. Amen. God is good. I mean, I learned how to receive a blessing. I also learned how to give a blessing. Amen. I used to be that guy, like, hey, brother, I want to give you 10 bucks. Oh, no, no, bro, I'm good. I'm good. No, no, I'm good. I got it. But I'm robbing that person of their blessing. Yes. I'm robbing them. Praise God. God wants us to receive a blessing at the same time. I had to learn that. How to get humble about that. Amen. So let's go ahead and pray for the service. Father, in Jesus' mighty, Amen. mighty name, God. Lord, you are here in this place, yes. God. Lord, fill us right now, God. Lord, let the weight of your glory fall on your people, God. Let it weigh on their hearts, God. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, that you move them, God. You move them by your spirit, yes. God. And Lord, if they don't want to be moved by your spirit, Spirit, God, that is in your hands. It is up to you, Father God. But I pray for your will to be done in this place, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, right now, God, change the atmosphere, God. Let there be fire in the weighty glory of your presence, God. Let your blood run and flow through this church right now, God, in Jesus' name. Not only touch, Father God, those that we pray for, God, but touch those that are here right now, God, those that are tired from work, 
God. Those that are, that are just tired in life in general, God. Those that made it here, God, I pray, God, that they came here to serve you and to look at you, look upon Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, not for any other reason. And we come to serve you. I just pray we come into one mind and one accord, Father God, to help fulfill that purpose, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We honor you. We reverence you. We love you, God, right now in Jesus' name, God. Lord, as you told me earlier, God, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm nothing, God. Lord, it is you, God. It is you that leads by your spirit, God. You're in control. You're the boss, God. I ain't going to tell you what to do, God. You do what you have to do in this church, God. In the name of Jesus, God, and what comes to my mind right now, Father God, if we continue to pray for Marty and his family, we thank you for the successful outcome, God, and, and, and the procedure that he went through, God. Yes. Heal him, God, in Jesus' name. I know you have a plan for them, God, and thank you for reminding me of that, Father, in Jesus' name. Anoint the service, God. Anoint me, Father God. Your words are already anointed, God, but anointed again, Lord, Father, right now. In Jesus' name, let us receive from heaven, God. Let us open our hearts and minds to you, God. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise yes. you, God. Amen. 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 God is good. God is here. Amen. God is here. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to acknowledge that. Got to get our, our minds into the the presence of God, amen, who are here for him, and no other reason, we're here for the Lord, amen, and just, if he would just show up on, on, on the stage, and what will we do, amen, but he is here, he's here in spirit, and those that worship him, worship him in spirit, and in truth, for the, because the Father is seeking such worshipers to worship him, because we have to know what spirit we are of, because God says, you don't know what spirit you're of, come on, there's not going to be a place or a, a building that's you worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The spirit is the spirit of God, right? And truth is Jesus, amen? So we worship God with the spirit of God. I don't know if I'm making sense, but praise God, open their eyes, God. Right, um, just wanted to say, for the word today is going to be titled, Stay in the Fight, amen? Mm. Stay in the Fight. How many of you know by now? It's a fight. Amen. And it's a fight to the finish. I don't like to fight. Amen. But it's something that we're called to do. We have to stay in the fight. It gets tiring. Sometimes we give up the fight. We let go. We drop the ball. We drop our shield of faith. We say, no more. I'm done. I'd rather go back to the old ways. But no, we have to stay in the fight. It is a fight until God comes back or we go back to God. Amen. Yeah. I'll say it again. I want to make the rapture. Lord, have mercy on me. But when it's time for me to go, I want to make sure that I finish strong. Amen. Oh. That I stayed in the fight. That I didn't give yes. up. I didn't get scared of some demon or some person that made me run away from my calling. Amen. Oh. I hung in there and stayed in the fight no matter how much God pressed me. He pressed me and pressed me and pressed me and squeezed the olive oil out of me that does not feel good, but I stay in the fight. Amen. And say, Lord, give me another squeeze. Amen. Yes. But that's what God does when we stay in the fight. It continues to make us stronger in the spirit realm. If we just stay and not stray. Amen. Because if we're praying, we're not staying, right? If we don't fast, we ain't going to last. Amen. Stay in the fight. Yes. Some people say they are lovers and not fighters, but in the kingdom of God, you are both. Come on. You fight against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, and spiritual wickedness in high places. You fight on your knees, not with your fists no more. Amen. I Come can't on. take Pastor Jesus in the back. Well, brother, I believe your doctrine's off. No, brother, your doctrine's off. Oh, brother, what? and then we go and get in a fight like we're back in the ghettos, amen, without laying hands, without praying. We don't do that no more, amen. We 
We speak the word of God. We fight yes. on our knees now. God touched him. Lord, Lord, I pray for him. God, Lord, I pray for myself. God, I got in the flesh. God, I got out of line. God, I got out of alignment. God, I pray now in Jesus' name. I rebuke the devourer. I rebuke the devil. I rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus because we're fighting against different ranks of what I mentioned right now. Principalities, powers, all these things in the kingdom of darkness. We're to fight on our knees. Amen. So once again, me and Pastor Jesus might be outside fighting because we think we have this, this super, super spiritual theology. Amen. No, we need to have, Come go on. back to the school of neology. Amen. Come let on. me see your, let me see your knees. Pastor, they should have calluses on them. Amen. Yes. And so should mine. Praise God. But we are to hit our knees and stay in the fight. It's not about doctrine. It's not about an opinion. It's about the Lord. Amen. Yes. You fight on your knees. You stay in the fight with Jesus. You don't fight with your fists no more. You are to love like Jesus. You are a lover without conditions. Jesus had an agape love. It's something yes. that I believe I would never be able to attain in this life. But God continues to show me how to do it. I need to love like God. A lot of us say we love like God, but we show different. Let's be honest today, amen. And you're... Uh, uh, and we are, we are fighters. We are conquerors. We are like God. Amen. So we love. We fight. We are like Jesus. Jesus, like I said, he wasn't just some guy that loved everybody. Oh, everything's good. No, he rebuked Peter. He rebuked the Pharisees. He rebuked the Sadducees. He said things out of truth and out of love. Amen. We are to be like Christ. And I don't know, now that I'm uh, comes to my mind, I don't, I don't listen to a lot of Sometimes I listen to preachers online. For one, I don't have time to, but I didn't understand. If you guys heard this on the radio, it's like Caleb or The Promise, one of the radio stations, a commercial comes on, and Francis Chan comes on. I don't know if you heard it. And he, doesn't, he lost me what he was saying. He's like, he said, we don't have to be a, a good musician. We don't have to be like this. He goes, you don't even have to be like Jesus. He said that. I'm like, if you guys listen to the radio, you'll see the commercial will come on. Like, what are you talking about? You don't even got to be like Jesus. You just got to be like this. You just got to try your best and try your hardest. But what, I don't know if he was, what he was saying or if he meant to, to say that by accident. But we need to be careful, amen, because he said... You don't even need to be like Jesus. I'm like, what does that even mean? We have, what are you talking about? We have to be like Jesus because we are to walk as he imitate. walked Come in on. this earth. Yes, we are to imitate. We are to be Christ-like. Christian means follower of Christ. Christ-like. Yes. We model Jesus. You see me, you've seen the Father. It all, yes. it all adds up to me. I don't know what he was saying, but he's a big-time preacher on TV. He could lead a lot of people astray. A lot of people follow him because he, he's made it on the big stage. Amen. But be careful what you say. He said... You don't got to be like Jesus. and Je I'm like, what are you talking about, brother? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little confused right now. So I'll just pray for you. Amen. That's what I got out of it when he said that. Come on. No, we are to be like Christ. Amen. The Christ, the Jesus, the Messiah. Praise God. So I preached last week on, about doing all things through Christ who gives us strength. Amen. Yes. It's Christ who keeps our strength intact. Continue to stay in the fight. This could even be a piggyback off the last message, a little series. I don't know. God was giving it to me. And here it is, amen, to stay in the fight. Praise God. Don't get out of the fight. The fight is not over yet. The fight is fixed. Yes, it is fixed. Jesus wins. We win. We have the blood. Amen. Read the end of the back of the Bible and you win. Amen. No devil. He's God. He's out. He's toast. Amen. In the lake of fire. Praise God. We win. We are victorious. But in the meantime, you still have to fight. Come on. He's defeated the devil. Amen. But he's still going to come around and show his ugly head. You still have to fight. It's not going to be just... Crimson and clover for you. It's not going to be a, a smooth selling. It's not going to be all good. You're not walking the streets of gold yet. You're still walking the streets of this earth. Well, the prince of the power of the air is God of this earth, as it says in the word of God. Amen. Amen. So we have to fight him. He ain't going anywhere until Jesus says, you're out of here at the end of time. And it's getting very, very, very close. So get ready. Yeah, Amen. God warned us. We don't have an excuse 
of all that brothers talked about me. Yeah. Oh, I'm so mad, God. I can't fight. Lord, it's your fault. I'm mad at you. There's no excuse, amen, because we are to trust God with all our heart and all our minds Come and lean not on our understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge Him and He will direct our path, amen. Yeah. We're going to the right. God will direct our path. We're going to the left. God will direct our path, amen. Yeah. He says in His Word, we don't have an excuse. Excuse, amen. We make too many excuses, and we need to stop doing that and follow the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. He is true. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Come on. I don't have excuses no more. I can't try to cheat no more. God said, I already told you, you know better, son. Okay, okay, Lord. I get, yes. I'm sorry, God. I said, stick your thinking, get out of here. Amen. Because in 1 Timothy 6 12, it says, Oh, there he goes again. Yes, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. There it is. Thank you, Father. Just, uh, you want to donate singing lessons? I accept it. Amen. First Timothy 6, 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Come on. Lay hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou art called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. You fight the good fight of faith and you lay hold of eternal life because you're fighting your way to heaven. Amen. you got to fight your way to heaven. You can't just get on the boat with Jesus and sail on the ships because not even that was easy. That was rocky. The winds and the waves came against the disciples and Jesus had to rebuke the storm. Amen. It's not going to be just some some first class flight, amen, to heaven. Come right, on. Pastor Lancaster? Pastor Lancaster said today, if I get a tie like his, amen, all I got to do is spend a couple of more cents to get first class, right, Pastor? So he got me with the tie because his tie is more anointed than mine, amen. I'm going to get his tie and smite the river of Jordan, amen, Come and split it, praise God, because that's the man of God that has the anointing of Christ inside of him, amen. amen. We need to look at the example, praise God, of what we need to look like and model in the Lord, amen. Amen. I told Pastor Lancaster, well, I can't afford the few cents more because gas keeps going up. Come Amen. On. So I don't know. I wore, I wore gas instead of a tie. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name. But he will provide. He will make a way. Yes. But it's getting close. You can see all the craziness that is happening Amen. in Come the on. world. But you lay hold of eternal life because you fight all the way to heaven. Stay in the fight. Amen. Continue Amen. to go. I don't know what round it is, but it's been a lot of rounds already. We cannot stop until it's over. And it ain't over yet. It's supposed to be a good fight, but sometimes it seems ugly. It don't seem good. It seems tired. It seems like, man, God, I don't want to do this no more. God, I, I don't want to fight no more, God. But God says to stay in it, son. It's not over yet. I have prepared you for such a time as this. And it's not going to get easier. It's going to get harder. So I need you to stay in the fight. Amen. Amen. Because God works out all things for the good of those that love him, for those that are called according to his purpose. If you're fighting in the kingdom of God and staying in the fight, God is working it out for you for the good, for the better. He's working something. He has a plan for you, plans of good and not of evil. Amen. As it says in the word of God. Amen. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I mean, besides the spiritual fight, the... The regular fight is hard. I need strength for the regular fight. Even I don't want to be adulting no more. Praise God. I want this adulting thing, right? I told you guys before, I was a little kid. I couldn't wait to grow up, man. I can't even do what I want. I still can't do what I want. It is hard, man. My mom wouldn't let me go around the block on my bike. I couldn't go around the block. She's like, no, I'm not going to let you go around the block. I'm not going to let you go out and do this. I was like, man, mom, you're so mean. All my other friends are doing it. Yeah, but they were also in trouble stealing and they're in jail now, amen. My mom was trying to protect me. I don't understand. I'm like, I don't want to go and do what everybody else is doing. No, you're not going nowhere, son. Especially now, it's very bad in the world, amen. But she was trying Come to protect on. what she loved and I didn't get it. Now I was like, okay, mom, let me go back to eight years old and spank me and tell me to go to bed because I don't want to do this no more, amen. I don't want to be a grown up no more, praise God. It's hard, amen. You get it, first thing you do. And here we go. We got to schedule this. We got that. We got the twins. We got the kids. We got to go grocery shopping. We got to clean the house. We got, and never, ever ends. And by the time you're done with the end of your day, you're frustrated. You're mad. You're angry. You're hangry. Or is that just me? Amen. Come on, come I mean, on. it is hard being tired every day, drinking coffee and all this other stuff. And 
Lord, help me, man. I mean, this is very frustrating, God. I mean, I need help to keep my mind right because even this life itself and this adult is hard. Lord, it's very hard. I got to pay the bills. I got to do this and that. And by the end of the day, I'm done. I'm toast. Put a pitchfork in me and call me toast. Amen. Because that's how I feel. But I need God's strength in order to even do stuff like that because I find myself not in a good place as the day goes by. Uh, okay, Lord, it's getting hard now. God, it's getting hard now. There I go complaining and crying. Amen. Come on. Help me, God, in the name of Jesus to stay in the fight. God, give me strength, Lord. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Preach it, brother. Because we fight with our faith. Amen. Come on. Come on. The good fight of faith, we fight with our faith. Yes. With your faith, you move mountains. Amen. You move mountains, praise God. You don't go around the same mountain for 40 years and Come get on. no results. You don't sit there and look at the there mound like, go. oh, my God, the mound. Oh, God, how am I going to do this? Oh, I, I can't. It's too hard. I can't stay in the fight no more. No, more. no, you move the mountain with your faith. God says it will be cast into the sea if you speak to the mountain. Speak to the mountain until it comes crumbling down and get on the mountain and ride it as a surfboard. Amen. And so I have conquered the mountain. Amen. I think it was Caleb Pastor Jesus that said, Lord, give me the mountain one more time. He said, give me that mountain. And God gave him the mountain. Amen. We are to conquer the mountain, speak to the mountain, and be victorious with our faith. Amen. Man. With faith. Amen. It's impossible to please God because without faith, God, those that believe in God must believe he is and he is a rewarder than those that diligently, carefully Seek him. Amen. Amen. We cannot please God without faith. We're sitting there and we're not having no faith. God's like, I can't move nothing. You can't fight with your faith. If you don't believe, I can do it. Amen. We could we see miracles through faith. We use faith through miracles. Yes. The gift of miracles. The gift of faith Come goes on. hand in hand. We can't see nothing without faith. Fight the good fight of faith. Stay in the fight. We see the hand of God move through faith. Amen. We see the power of God move through faith. Faith, amen. Yeah. A possible things become possible, amen, because nothing shall be impossible with God. Doesn't that happen with Mary and the angel? Nothing shall be impossible with God. But we need to get back to where we once were with God yeah. and stay in the fight with your faith. A good fight of faith, as the word of God says. Says we get a second win. We fight with our faith. We go to another level when we fight with our faith because yes. we go from faith to faith. Amen. And faith again, and you keep going and going and going and going, and it gets harder and harder and harder and harder. But you become stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Yes. Amen. But stay in the fight. Praise God. We we believe God. We can endure. Through faith, amen. We stay in the fight in faith. You stay in the fight, amen, with the armor of God, through the power of the Holy Spirit. You don't yes. go into a fight unprepared, amen. Come the on. boxer has to put the boxing gloves on. The UFC fighter has to put on the six or the four ounce gloves, amen. The soldier out there defending our country, dying, doesn't go out there and his boxers are no shorts, amen. He goes out there with armor, with the yes. gun, with the pistol, with the helmet. He's prepared to fight, prepared for war, to learn how to stay in the fight. They don't have a choice. They can't give up. They've been trained to go to the death. Amen. The apostles were trained to go to the death. death. Yes. Amen. Because God taught them they stayed in the fight. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, brother. Through the power of the Holy the Spirit, the right Spirit there. of God, the armor of Jesus. Come Amen. On. We have to live out the armor lifestyle. Jesus is the armor. Every part of the armor is Jesus. If you look at all the parts, it's Jesus. Every word is Jesus. Amen. We have to be ready and prepared to stay in the fight. We can't go out there, amen, like Barney Five, right, with one bullet in our gun and shoot that bullet, and that's it. That's all I have, Lord. Yep. That's Come all. I'm done now. Come on. I can't stay in the fight no more. I just had one round because yep. gas is going up. Amen. No excuses. Come on. So we have the belt of truth. Amen. Yes. Guard up your loins with the belt of truth. Come Who is on. truth? Jesus. Yes. He is truth. He is the embodiment of truth. He cannot lie. He is truth. He told his father, Father, before he went to the cross, your word is truth. Yes. God, 
God is the truth. We are to live in truth. Amen. We wear truth. We wear Jesus. We can't tell little white lies no more. Amen. Come God on. will check us. We need to have yep. conviction. Yes. We're about to lie. And God says, don't do that. You're wearing truth. You're like, oh, well, God, don't forget me. No, that's not how it works. Amen. Sorry, I just say a little white lie, and I'll go back to the altar later and get delivered. No. That's not how it works. Amen. That's not Come what on. God is saying. Wear your truth. Gird your yes. loins up with truth. The breastplate of righteousness. Amen. Our righteousness is as filthy rags because we are sinners, amen. Yes, we're saved. And I, maybe you guys get mad because, oh, you call me a sinner. Okay, let me say you're a saint, saved by grace, then, amen. Yep. But your righteousness, our righteousness is not Come good on. enough for God, amen. That's why God had to go to the cross, amen. Because yes. our righteousness is as filthy yes. rags. Yep. Filthy Come rags, on. a dirty, filthy, bloody rag that hasn't been washed in years. That's what our righteousness looks like. Oh. We're not good enough, amen. But God is, amen. He went to the cross and he became Come sin. On, Who knew no sin that we might be the righteousness Woo. of Christ through the blood of Jesus, amen. amen. That's Come what on. makes us righteous. That's what we wear. That's how we stay in the fight. Amen. We can't go in there unprepared. We wear Jesus. Amen. Yes. Our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. The Roman soldiers, right? They have these little clinks and spikes under their shoes. So it's for meant for them to stand their ground yeah, so they don't get pushed go. back, amen. If they get pushed back, their feet will still be on the floor, amen. It was meant for them to move forward yeah. and not backwards, amen. Our only aim is to move forward, amen. Like the grasshopper, you continue to move forward, little yep. grasshopper, Come until on. you become a Come champion, yes. amen. You wear your cleats. Amen. Your word is shot with the gospel of peace. How beautiful it is to them that run, that, that run with their feet to spread the gospel. Right, Pastor Jesus? Yes, How beautiful sir. it Come is. On. The word of God Good says, word. amen. So when the devil comes at you, like the karate kid, and he's the Johnny guy, the bad guy, you think he's all bad, I'll call his pride, Cobra Kai, you're about to win the tournament, amen. No, you look at your feet and say, oh, my feet are prepared with the gospel of peace. So you do your karate kid stance, and you kick him in his jaw with your feet, with the word of God. Kick him in his jaw with the word. Kick him with your cleats, amen. Put some spike marks in his face, Come amen. on, come on. Get ready, get Get into it, amen. Stay in the fight, praise God. Hallelujah. Because the word of God is a lamp into my feet and a light yes. into my path. Come the on. gospel, yep. Jesus, the light of the world. Armor up in Jesus. He is the armor, amen. Yes. That's how you stay in the fight. Yes, amen. Above all, take up the shield of faith. faith. Amen. To quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. If God was to open our eyes right now, we would be like, oh, what is going on? Amen. Come on. See, arrows flying all over the place. Arrows all in the air. Demons fighting. Angels fighting in the second heaven. Swords clashing like what in the world? I, Lord, I don't want to see this no more. It's a spiritual thing. Above all, take up your shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. Enoch walked with God by faith. Then yeah. he was no more. God translated him to heaven. Amen. When you walk by faith and you put up your shield of faith, you translate into the supernatural. Amen. You translate yes. into yeah, the heavenly. Amen. Because That's Abraham good. was the father of faith and God revealed to him secrets. Amen. He was the father of faith because he was righteous because of his faith. And we have oh faith God. in God that Come makes on. us righteous. But we have to do something with our faith that makes us righteous. But we cannot have faith without works. Amen. We don't go to heaven through works. We don't go to heaven without faith. Yep. Show me your faith by your works. Amen. Meaning if I go to Pastor Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, now, God, I'm working my faith. Amen. Come That's on. what he's talking about, the shield of faith. Praise God. Amen. It goes on to go the helmet of salvation. Amen. The helmet of salvation. Stay in the fight. We are saved. We have salvation through Jesus the blood of Jesus. Once again, it's Jesus to protect your mind. He had to put on a crown of thorns, and thorns represent the curse. He wore the curse amen. on his head, amen, and the blood that came from the side of his skull, amen, that blood was exchanged for us for a helmet now in Come the on. spirit, amen. amen, because Jesus Christ will take care of all your worries and your cares that are in your mind, amen. As a matter of fact, thank you, Jesus, for reminding me. But a we, a, a, a we, 
care about the things of this world, amen, it says the thorns choke up the word. It chokes up the seed. You're no longer in the fight no more because the seed scatters. The seed is the word. And if you receive the word in good ground, good soil, it'll produce 30, 60, 100 fold because your soil is fertile because you believe the word of God. But those that want to care about the cares of this world, the thorns go up and they choke it out. Amen. Mm. It chokes the seed out. The devil puts you the rear naked choke and you tap. No, stay in the fight. Oh, yeah. There is no tapping. Learn how to counter the rear naked choke. Come Take on. a jujitsu class and move the arm out of the way. Step one, step two, step Easy. three. God shows you that in the spirit. Yeah. Amen. He's already giving you the tools to conquer that choke, that rear naked choke. Amen. But the thorns will choke it up. And if the thorns choke out your seed and choke you out in the spirit, then you're done. You're passed out. You're tapped out. No more. Amen. Lights out. Praise God. Don't let the thorns choke your seed so you can stay in the fight. But God took the thorns on his head to give us the helmet of salvation. Amen. Amen. So we can think clearly now. So now we have the mind of Christ. Amen. Now we are like Jesus. We think like Jesus. You know, God was telling me earlier that I'm thinking about it. When I think about something, I still sometimes say, well, Lord, is that me or is that you? And he says, well, if it's a bad thought, obviously it's the devil. So you know where that source is coming from. So if you get a good thought, who is that from? It's not you no more, son. Have faith. Amen. It's easy to hear the devil's voice because he's going to say, hey, go that or think that or do that. You're like, man, that's not right. Why did that come to my head? The devil is shooting arrows. Amen. When the word of God comes to you, act by faith. Amen. That's how you can have the big prophecy and other gifts. You take up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of yes. God. For the word of God is powerful and sharper than any double-edged sword, right? Yes, Piercing even yeah. to the dividing asunder a spirit and soul shows you both. This is coming from the soulless realm, son. This is coming from the spirit realm. Know the difference and marrow and joints. And is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. The word of God, the double is sword. Now it's time to unsheath your sword. Quit putting it in the sheath and turn it around because you think you look cool because you carry a CCW. Amen. No, pull it out on the enemy. Amen. Unsheath your sword and slice and dice the enemy with the word of God. Yes. Target the enemy strategically where you're able to take him out. Amen. Because the devil had to flee from God in the wilderness because he used the word. He is the word. Come on. Get behind me saying, don't tempt the Lord thy God. He's like, I had enough. I can't get through to him. The word is too powerful. Amen. It says and also with prayer and supplication, praying in the spirit. If you have the gift of the Holy Spirit, which every believer should have, baptized in fire with other tongues, pray in the spirit. Amen. Building up your faith, building up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, as it says in Jude. Amen. You're building up your spiritual man. You're praying for your brothers. You're praying for your sisters. You're praying to the Spirit. You're supplicating to God. Your brother and your sister might be down the dump in their last breath. But you make up the gap. You stand in the gap and say, Lord, I reach heaven in the name of Jesus God. Touch them now and have passion and, and act like it was your child dying. Act like it's like your mom dying, your Come son on. dying. And have that kind of passion when you pray and have supplication. Yeah. For people, amen. amen. We are to do that. We get tired. We need to stay in the fight. Together, we are the body. Hallelujah. That's good stuff. Come on. We, amen. We are the body. We get tired. The enemy wants to single us out and put us in a corner and say, you know what? And then we're like, oh, no, I'm not by myself. I'm not alone. You're not alone. Amen. We have more than two-thirds of the angels for us, right? We have the weapons we need. We have the blood. We have the spirit. We have the fire. We have the word. So many things we have to come against the devil, and none of his weapons work, but we allow it to. We get tired. We give up. Amen. Second Samuel 21 Verse 15 through 17. Mm. Second Samuel 21, verse 15 through 17 talks about when we get tired. And that's me at the end of the day. I'm done. You have to start off with 
prayer. You gotta do what you gotta do to fill your tank because at the middle of the day, this is what my tank looks like. It's halfway depleted, amen? But you gotta fill yourself with the oil in the morning. Fill yourself till your cup runs over. Reach heaven. Pray to God. Do what you gotta do. Get up. Hit the alarm clock. Hit the the, the, the coffee butt machine. I don't know what you got to do, but make an effort to reach heaven Come first on. so God can fill you. You need to be filled in the morning with the word, with the spirit, with Come prayer. On. Amen. Because as soon as you walk out your closet and you go out your front door to start work, to start your day, the devil is right there waiting for you. As soon as you walk out the front door, there he is. Amen. And he starts to attack. Come and on. he starts to drain you. And he starts to come at you. And he starts to come at you at work. And he starts to come at you with different things, different situations, amen? So as your day goes by, you're being empty, you're being empty, you're being empty, you're being empty. By the time the end of the day is done, there's nothing left. There's no more water in the bottle. There's no more oil in the jar, amen? That's why I'm done. I'm toast. I'm finished, amen? I'm, I got to go to bed now, and I got to get up and fill myself all over again because by... Spiritual energy depletes as the day goes by because of my flesh. Amen. So you have to fill yourself every morning with the yes. word of God. Praise God. Amen. That's what we have to do. We have to make, we can't go on empty. We can't charge our Teslas on empty. We got to go to the charging station. Amen. Fill it back up again. Get charged up. Get electricity back in your bones. Yes. Amen. Don't detach from God. 2 Samuel 21, 15 through 17. And the Philistines had war again with Israel, and David went down and his servants with him. And David and fought against the Philistines, and David waxed faint. He got tired. He said, I'm, I'm done. And Ishbi Benob, who was of the sons of the giants, this was Goliath's brothers. Now, amen. He already killed Goliath. Now he's going for the whole family bloodline to kill them and cut the whole family line off in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so whose son, uh, the sons of the giant, the weight of whose spear was 300 shekels of brass in weight, he being girded with a new sword, amen, thought to have slain David. But Abishai, Abishai, the son of Zariah, succored him. He killed him and he smote the Philistine and killed him. Then the man... Then the men of David swear unto him, saying, Thou shalt not go no more out with us to battle, that thou quench not the lamp of Israel. Amen. Amen. The devil seen him tired. The devil sees us tired. Amen. He's like, here's my chance. Amen. He thought he could get Jesus. Jesus was tired. Jesus was fasting. Jesus was weak. Amen. Couldn't get him. All right. Well, I'm sure it's hard with David first. We're going, you know, if we're going in line. But he's like, you know what? I'm going to get David. He's tired, amen. Here's my chance. Here's my opportunity. He can't pick up his sword no more. His sword's probably down here. He can't even lift it to slay the giant. The giant's like, got him. The devil has his eyes on us, amen. I got him now. He's tired. He's worn out. He's about to get out of the fight. And I'm going to help him get out of this fight. I'm going to take him out right now. Here's my chance. And he had a new sword. You know, the enemy comes out with new attacks. The enemy comes up with new assaults from hell, amen, amen, against the children of God. We need to stay in the fight. He had a new sword. Sometimes the devil has a new sword. He's like, I haven't tried out this weapon yet, but I'm going to try it out on somebody that's tired, and I'm going to destroy some families. I'm going to take some lives. I'm going to do something. If there's a door open, I'm going to walk through it and cause havoc, amen. He has a new sword for us. He thought I was going to take him out, but David... Had somebody to stand in the gap. He had somebody to come in. I just call calling a magic because I watch movies. He probably jumped in. Ah, boom! Slice his throat. Amen. You're not going to take my brother out. Yeah, I see him tired. You're not going to take my sister out. I see you, devil. I see what you're doing. You're not going to get your chance today. Not today, Satan. Not any day, right? So he took him out. He killed that giant that was going to kill David because he was tired. That's us. If there's a need in the church, we need to come together as the body and pray for one another. There's a need. If there's a healing, if there's a sickness, if there's anything, we need to cover each other and prayer and not let the devil take us out with his new 
sword, amen. No, we go to the throne room of heaven. We make up the gap. We make up the bridge, amen, and say, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I rebuke Satan. I bind him. I command him, Lord, in Jesus' name to get out of my brother and sister's situation, Lord. I cover them in the blood of Jesus, God. Lord, save them, God. Lord, do something. We're making the difference. Matter of fact, I attack that devil with the arrows of God dipped in the blood of Jesus. As a matter of fact, I cut that devil at the root with the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I give the devil a spiritual abortion trying to carry out new seeds. For God's children, new attack they haven't even been sent out yet, but they're being birthed in the realm of darkness. But I get the sword and I abort all those things. I abort all those attacks now. And Jesus saying, no more new swords are going to come near my brother. No, I stop it now and dismantle it by the blood. We need to pray for each other. Be there for each other. Because it's tiring. We get tired of this thing called fighting. Amen. Amen. We need each other. There's no lone warriors. Amen. We need to come together as a body of Christ and pray for each other to take out the devil just like the example right here in the word of God. We hold each other up. We have the victory. When we come into agreement, we have the victory. Encourage one another. Be there for one another. Right? The apostles all worked together and they became the Acts Church. But they did it together. Amen. They didn't just go on their own. Praise God. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 and 5. Overcome every form of evil as a victorious soldier of Jesus, the anointed one. For every soldier called to active duty must divorce himself from the distractions of this world. Come on. So that he may fully satisfy the one who chose him. An athlete who doesn't play by the rules will never receive the trophy. Come on. So remain faithful to God. Amen. Amen. We must overcome evil daily. And says divorce yourself from the world. The word of God, the King James Version says, don't be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. When God freed you from that, but you're entangling yourself again, you can't stay in the fight like that because that seed, that thorn, I mean, will choke you out. Amen. You have to move on in Christ. It says overcome every form of evil. Evil takes on a lot of forms. Comes in the form of the snake, the angel of light. Comes in the form of compromise. Comes in the form of schools. Comes in the forms of government. They it's okay. There's a new age. There's this new age uh, spirit thing going on now. Go ahead and join us. No, God's word never changed, amen. We still got to stick to the word of God. He never changes. It doesn't matter how many forms evil takes. Do not be deceived, Come amen. On. And continue to follow the word of God. The answer is to divorce, to divorce yourself from this world, amen. To divorce yourself from the world. We are married to Christ, and he is coming back for his bride, for his church, amen. For without a spot wrinkle, or blemish. We don't serve two gods. We need to make up our minds. Whom will we serve today? The choice is yours. Amen. An athlete who doesn't play by the rules will never receive the prize. You can't cheat your way to heaven. There is no shortcut. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father but by Him. Amen. There is no shortcuts to heaven. You can't just put your sword down and put the white flag up. I'm going to go to heaven now. I'm going to get it through the window. I'm going to get it through the back gate. No, you fight your way to heaven because in Matthew 22 verse 11 talks about the wedding garment and a man goes into the wedding without a garment. And the, 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 the story is the guy of the in charge of the wedding says, hey, brother, um, how did you get in here without the wedding garment? You, you got to have a garment on like everybody Come else. On. Where's your garment at? He tried to cheat his way to heaven. Mm. He didn't put the work in. He didn't put the prayer in. He didn't put the study in. Come he didn't on. have a relationship with God. But yeah, he got to the wedding somehow. I don't know how he got there. The Bible doesn't say. I can only say he snuck in. But why are you here without a wedding garment? This man doesn't have a wedding garment on. Cast him out into outer, outer darkness where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen. When you try to cheat your way to heaven, you don't make heaven. Amen. You got to stay in the fight because this man was found out and pretty much she went into the pit of hell. Amen. That's what it's saying. We can't go Separate to heaven. God. Yes. Praise God. Without our wedding garment, right? Separated. We yeah. Separated. Sanctified. The blood is the wedding garment. Amen. The spirit is the wedding garment. You're washed in white robes because Jesus makes you white as snow. Amen. Amen. And at the same time, an athlete who does play by the rules, he is a, gets a crown of life and possibly more crowns. 
And he does it through Christ. Most important of all, eternal life. Eternal life, Brother Sam, eternal life. Sister Dorothy is we're praying for Greg. Amen. It's the most important of all in the name of Jesus. A soldier stays in the fight. We've all heard the term, it's not over until the fat lady sings. Well, I don't think that saying is very nice because I'm not skinny no more. Amen. So let's change that. To, it's not over until fluffy Pastor Raymond sings. And we, we know it's all over as soon as I sing because I can't sing. Amen. So praise God, it's not over yet until God says it's over. All the prophets and the apostles stayed in the fight. Moses stayed in the fight. Amen. God was about to kill the, 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 the generation of Israel. And no, God saved them. I want to deliver them, continue to do the mission you told me to do and get them across the Red Sea. He stayed in the fight. Elijah stayed in the fight. He ran for his life. The ravens had to feed him. The angel had to bake him a cake and give him a cruise of water and said, you can make it 40 more days. As you're not gonna, you're not gonna eat for 40 days. You have to move on and continue the mission. Stay in the fight. It's not over. It's not time to put your heart on the willow. Amen. Jacob stayed in the fight. God broke him. Literally took his sight out of the socket, but he didn't give up. He held on and says, "I'm gonna stay in this fight until you bless me." Amen. He didn't let go. Samson didn't get out of the fight. He stayed in the fight. They took his eyes out when they found out how to take his anointing. Amen. But he said, God, you just come through for me one more time, God. He didn't give up no matter what happened. And he made those pillars fall down and slew all those Philistines once again because he stayed in the fight. Amen. He didn't give up. Peter stayed in the fight. Amen. Matter of fact, he fought the wrong way. Remember Pastor A. Susie? Got the sword and tried to cut heads off, but he got an ear instead. Amen. He fought in the wrong spirit. Amen. But he stayed in the fight. He became one of the greatest apostles that ever lived. Amen. He didn't give up. Paul stayed in the fight. Amen. They left him for dead. I mean, imagine being covered in stones, and all of a sudden you see a little hand come out of the stones. And say, no, I'm still in it. Amen. Got up, probably had gashes on his head. Probably he was unconscious. Probably had a concussion. But he said, man, forget this. They're trying to kill me. I don't want to get killed like this. Uh, this is horrible. I felt all the stones hit my head. I have a headache. I don't want to do this no more. No, he stayed in the fight. Amen. It didn't stop him. Stay in the fight, church. Yep. And you yep. can stay in the fight, amen. Jesus stayed in the fight, praise God. Losing blood, amen. Had an illegal trial. They tried him illegally. They had an illegal court meeting at night that wasn't supposed to take place, amen. They beat him. He dropped his cross on the way to Calvary. He was tired. He was losing blood. His back was showing bones. It says you can't even recognize him no more because his face was disfigured because they beat the tar out of him, amen. But did he give up? No, he continued to carry that 150 pound cross all the way to Calvary's hill and said, It is finished. Amen. Yeah. He didn't give up. He stayed in the fight. And he gave us the same ability to do the same thing, to not to not give up and to stay in the fight. Don't give up. You're almost there. Your breakthrough is around the corner. Just hang on a little longer. You've come this far. God didn't bring you this far to quit on you, to drop you, to leave you for dead. Amen. If he can take you to it, he can get you through it. Amen. Praise God by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every place the sole of your foot shall turn upon, that has he given to you. He has given you the mountain. He has given you territory. He has given you ground. Take it for him, amen. Pretty soon we're going to take the city back for Layton in the name of back for Jesus, yes. in the name of Jesus, right? We're going to take the city back. Start somewhere. Start in Jerusalem. Then go to the world, amen. But we stay in the fight. It's not time to give up now. It's time to push harder. It's time to go deeper. Come to on. get out of the eagle's nest. Amen. We want to sit there and be in the nest and suck our thumb. No, the eagle breaks the branches so the eagle can get out. Go on your own, buddy. Get a job. Amen. Amen. So the branches get, they get, they, they point upwards so the eagle can't step on the branches no more or lay on the branches because it's uncomfortable. So it starts to go and launch off on its own. Amen. Don't give up. Don't get comfortable. Go deeper. Stay in the fight. Amen. Quit licking our wounds and let God heal them. He is the healer. Praise God. Amen. We need to get over past hurts, past letdowns, past failures. Today is a new day. And as long as you have God's life flowing through you, get up in the name of Jesus and fight and pick up your cross and follow Jesus. 
follow after the Messiah, amen, he is leading you to eternal life, to your destiny. You're not alone. Trust God. Rest in God. He will carry you through. He will take you out to the other side so you can cast out a demon in the country of the Gadarenes. Amen. The devil right. tried to stop him, but he couldn't because he had a mission and a purpose to go and cast out a demon. But the devil is going to try to fight you and take you out of the fight. Amen. He has work for you to do. Get up, dust yourself off, and get back into the fight. Stay in the fight. Train for the fight. Amen. Don't give up. Press on. Becoming general in the kingdom of God. Be armed and dangerous. Amen. With the sword of the spirit on the right hand and the shield of faith on the left hand. Amen. For the kingdom of God and for his glory. Amen. Stay in Amen. the fight. I know it's hard. I know it's not easy, right? It's not easy, Brother Sam. You've been through a couple of things, Sister Barbara. You've been in a big fight for your health lately. Stay in the fight. You're here today for a reason and a purpose. It's all divinely appointed. Don't give up. God no. is for you. If God is for you, who could be against you? Amen. Pastor Lancaster, mighty warrior of God, just came out of the hospital and it kind of messed him up. He had some after effects, but he's still in the fight. It's not over for him yet. God still has work for him to do. Amen. My mom in the back, keep her in prayer. Amen. She's going to have to go in for a surgery. Who wants to hear those words, surgery? That's scared them. Scary to death, amen. But stay in the fight and trust God. He knows what he's doing. Yes. He is the healer. Matter of fact, if you come up for prayer, God can still do a miracle. Stay in the fight. Don't give up. It's hard. It's tiring. It wears you out. It weighs on your spirit. It weighs on your soul. We don't want to do it no more. Why, God? I'm tired of it. But stay in the fight, amen. Stay in the fight, says God. Because we're in it to win it. Amen. Yes. We're in it for the long run. Praise God. We were in the world. We are all out for the world. Stay up all night. Party all night. Get up and still go to work. No. Transfer that motivation into the spirit realm. And continue to push for Jesus. Amen. Amen. And don't give up. He knows what he's doing. I know it gets tiring. that sometimes he don't come through right away. But he will come through. Trust him. Take your faith to another level. Amen. Amen. Go deeper into the waters of faith. Praise God. And stay in the fight. Amen. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and close out. The altars are open for prayer. Amen. But stay in the fight. David, Lacey, stay in the fight. God is reminding me of you guys right now because it's been a hard road with health and stuff like that. But trust God. I mean, we all have to trust God. We're all in this together. Amen. So the worship team wants to bless us out with some beautiful music. The altars are open. And we're here to pray for you. But don't give up. Amen. Come on. Amen. Don't give up on the Amen. Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen, bro. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because you sent your word to heal them, God. Let her eyes hear now. Not only her ears, but the body could hear. God. Eyes, I command you to hear the word of God that is speaking to you. Eyes be healed. Eyes be healed in the name of Jesus right now. We command the believer to stop in Jesus' name.
been waiting, God. He's been waiting for answers, God. In Jesus' name, God. But Lord, you are the answer, God. Yes, Father God. Lord, you have blessed him, Father God. You have brought him so far, God, that sometimes, Lord, he doesn't even see it, God, because he's waiting for something else to happen. He's waiting for another answer to his prayer, God. But Lord, you have brought him so far already, God. Let him see the victories that he's had in you, God. Show him for the place you have brought him from, God, from where he was, God, to, no, to where he is no longer. He has changed, God. He has grew. God, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you, God, to continue to have your perfect plan in this life, God. In Jesus' mighty name, touch him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet right now, God. In the name of Jesus, help him at work, God. Give him wisdom, God. Give him wisdom, God, of how he can, he can learn how to use his time wisely, God, and press in deeper into you, God. Those things that are not important, those things that he is able to cut off, God, Help him do that in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, I feel you in your spirit now, God, that you're saying to him, God, that you want him to come closer, that you want him to press in, that you want him to go farther, God, that you want him to take his faith to the next level, God, because you are saying, God, he is a new season in his life, God. The old white skins are dead, Father, God. It's a new season for him, God. There are new things coming towards his way, Father, God, in the name of Jesus, Father, God. And those things will accelerate in his spirit, God, if he gets the spirit of wisdom, God, the spirit of wisdom, revelation, knowledge, Father, God, on how to go about his walk with you, Father, God. In the name of Jesus, bless him, God. Father, we know what he's asking for, and you give it to him, God, because your time is perfect, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, touch him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet right now, God. In the name of Jesus, give him strength, God, Lord, and the work that he's doing, God. I pray you strengthen his body, you strengthen his bones, God, you keep him young, God. He's able to perform the work, God, and the job that you have him. Father God, in the name of Jesus, give him a second wind with the wind of the Spirit, God, right now. In Jesus' mighty name, bless him, Father God. Lord, speak to him in dreams and visions, Father God. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, let him interpret those dreams and visions because those are the things that you use to speak to him. Help him recognize your voice even more clearly. He knows your voice, God. But Father, I pray and prophesy over his ears, God, that he will know even more, God. Amen. Father, your Amen. small, still voice. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, he is called. Don't hold back. Just, Lord, give me the word. Mm -hmm.